Welcome back, and welcome to episode 6 of my Dark Souls playthrough. After the shambolic episode that was episode 5, I decided to change my tactics. So, I am going to go to Dark Root Basin, I think that's what it's called. That way, we go into a nice foresty area, a bit of nature, and also we can pick up mosses, which will help us later on, and also give me an opportunity to do an area that I need to do anyway and also level up a bit so that when I do go into the depths I'll be a bit tougher and I'm gonna buy maybe two purging stones because I don't want that happening again because that was really horrible and if you haven't seen that episode check it out because it's painful and awkward and frustrating so I'm sure you'll enjoy it right and another thing I've notice is that I've got this thief's armor set on. Now I'm not getting the most use out of it because I'm wearing thieves armor but I'm acting like a knight so I'm gonna put some armor on and it might slow me down a bit but it will stop me getting completely destroyed because of my lack of dodging ability. So let's just see what I've got in my bag that might you know, be a bit better than what I've got on for defence wise. So I haven't got much, so I guess I'm going to have to go back to a hard leather armour. Yep, yeah, so I'll change that for this. My head, I kind of like the sack look, but I kind of want to see my face, so let's find a piece of armour that's a bit light it although gives me protection and I still don't know what is heavy and what isn't I think this this little bit here tells me how I don't know I'm just guessing I don't want to wear the fang boar helm I don't really like it gargoyle helm I kind of like the sack right I'm going to keep the sack and let's have a look at some gloves, hard leather gloves. Hmm. I think the black leather gloves are good enough. And the legs. I'll put the hard leather boots on as well. I don't really know, but it's got to be better. Okay. So, how do we get to Dark Root Basin? We have to go back to where the armour is, the blacksmith. And then we go keep going down. So, let's go up the lift and make our way to there. <coughs> so, yeah, the last episode, I got to a point where I was like, should I even be doing this? But I think I should. I think it's good to see because obviously most people, you know, who play this, they know what they're doing. They get through all these sort of areas and, you know, it's normally just this could happen or this could happen. Whereas it would be quite good if I can show you the worst things that can happen and how you can remedy those problems. And that is how I'm going to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you how to do really badly so that you can fix it. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do that. So we'll take out these just for some some easy uh, souls. And I can't really upgrade anything else because I don't have the souls for it. And I don't think I need to at the moment. Uh, let me just double check what I've, what I've actually got. Yep, plus five. I've got the crest shield. I do need a better set of armour, I think. So we should be able to pick that up on the way. And I think in Dark Root Basin, I think you can pick up the, uh, the knight armour. And I'm sure you can get the Elite Knight armor somewhere there as well, but I, don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. But yeah, so let's 
think about this for a second. I'm going to rest here. Still can't level up. But let's, um, let's maybe see if I've... I think I spent all my soul items on... Yeah, no, I don't have enough. So anyway, we've rested there. So if we die, we don't have to run very far. So there's our mate, the blacksmith. Blacksmith in a way. Who he's making armour for? I'm just assuming it's other other undeads like us that are trying to solve the problem. Okay, this thing. It is beatable, but it's going to take a while. And you don't need to kill him yet. So we might as well just run past him and find our way to the entrance of Dark Brute Basin. Now if I remember rightly, if you go that this way, yeah I'm remembering wrongly. I thought there was a, a way to get to Blight Town through here, but I'm, I must be mistaken. So anyway, this is the way we're going, into the forests where we get a new enemy, these trees, and they kind of whip you, they hide and ambush you, and they pretend to be normal bushes and jump out at you. But a couple of hits and, you know, they're done. Now again, I don't really know the route, so I'm just going to figure it out as I go along. And there aren't, there isn't anything here that can curse me, so we'll be alright. Something's telling me not to go down there, so that's for later. Let's just stay one level at a time. Okay, there's the, the whippy trees. They're the ones that are going to drop uh, blossoms for us. Is it blossoms? Mosses. I'm so positive. Blossoms. They drop blossoms. I mean, I get the feeling, even if it was a bright sunny day, this place would still look dark and depressing, and just like everywhere else here so far. Okay, what have we got? Blood red moss clump. So that prevents bleeding, which isn't particularly useful for us. So yeah, I'm going to follow my, my tactics. If I get lost, I'll look for enemies. Okay, now I do know that... Uh, well, yeah, I remember this area. Um, because this here is locked by some contraption. And I can't remember the name of it. We need to buy something that costs an absolute fortune. We put it in there and we can go into the next area where there is a boss that we do need to kill, but not yet. If we tried to kill it now, we, we probably wouldn't last. And there is a secret door here, which opens up a bonfire. And we love bonfires. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse my hollow and make myself human. So let's take a couple of them. I'm going to kindle this bonfire as well because we might come back to it. And I think it's always good to kindle them anyway because you never know when you come back and things. And if you don't, you end up with just five Estus charges, which, you know, it's not good if you're not good at this. Okay, so now that's done, we're going to remember that door and we're going to come down here. Okay, there's a fog wall there, we'll go in there in a sec. Now in here, you might not be able to see it, but these little bushes, they are those tree creatures that will ambush you. So yeah, just give them a good whack. 
and the problem is you hit them and you need to wait for them to stand up before you can hit them again so just remember that and this one here so yeah if you didn't know about them they would uh, cause problems so the purple moss clump that prevents poisoning so if you get poisoned eat one of those and it, it cures it for you the ones that we really want I can't remember the name but they're like a sort of white and purple and they stop toxins and that's the biggest problem in blight town but anyway that's going too far into the future let's traverse the white line okay now this area I don't remember it the route really but I know there's lots of enemies that are problems and lots of them trees so it's worth sort of scanning the floor for those bushes and if you look here there's a seemingly dead knight who comes to life so these have a spell and what it does it puts a ring around you so that you can't really move or roll so make sure you're blocking and just try and take them out as quick as you can because you can't roll away from them and they hit hard so we're going to face quite a few of these so it's good to kind of get used to how they attack what they do the best thing to do I mean I've put myself in a really crap position by getting stuck by a tree so I couldn't circle okay it's one of these here huh? I mean, it looks like one it's not oh it is yeah there's one here and there's another one of these knights so let's try and get somewhere helpful yeah, tough, tough enemies. I think maybe the best thing to do is to make him rise and then back up so that we can, you know, we've got a bit of space. And luckily we don't have to run too far. But we do have to kill the same enemies again. We did that there. And I can see my souls glimmering. But I'm being followed. So let's deal with these. Oh, that's the one I was talking about, the blooming purple moss clump. So, in Blight Town, you get blow darts firing at you that are toxic. These, this is what stops it. So, when we've got enough souls, we'll go back to that merchant and buy some of those. But hopefully, we'll be able to pick up quite a few in this area. So, I do need to get my souls. Oh. It's not fun, is it? <laughs> Who said this was fun? Okay. Right, let's uh, let's find a bit of an opening here. This looks good. So we do have two. One out, that'll help. Oh, I need my shield. No. Whose idea was this? I should go back to the depths and get cursed. 
Alright, don't worry, we got this. So anyway, I'll get me souls and then I'm going to follow the lights. Maybe that's the answer. No! No! Okay. The problem is my souls are there and there's a thing there. Maybe I can just just get that one to stand up. Without any others. If I can just kill one. Okay, this is good. One. One's better than none. So there's that one. Let's kill the trees. And the thing is, it's good using the claymore with uh, two hands for this because um, you can just hit straight down onto the floor. It makes it just a little bit easier. Okay, so that's that one. And there's two of them. Ah, oh, that one hasn't aggroed. That's good. He's still asleep. Good. A stone great sword. That sounds good. So I don't know if I can even wield it. I've got a feeling it'll be too heavy. Yeah. I can't use it. What do I need? So I need a strength of 40 and a dexterity of 10. I have a strength of 70. <laughs> yeah, I'm well, be well behind on that. I read that right. Yeah, no, it's going to be a long time before I can use that. So we'll stick with what we got. Okay, so there's the sleeping dude, and there's two trees behind him, so maybe we can just... No. You can see how slow I am. bit of a point where I think I need my level needs to be higher. Maybe, I don't know. Because I'm not skilled enough to we'll keep going. I just don't want this to be another one of those episodes. Luckily for us we get to practice so let's get him what just hit me. Oh. Hmm. Right, what's next?
problem is now I'm sort of trapped because all my souls are there. I kind of have to go and get them. I'm in a really not very good position. Just this one, wasn't it? That's a dead one. That's a dead one. That's, that's no threat to us. So let's grab the souls and then find some space. Right, the trees, let's kill them. One. Where's the others? Oh, he hasn't come over for some reason. Right, here comes the other tree. He's stuck. He's stuck behind him. <laughs> what a double act. Okay, he's coming. Come on, get closer. Thank you. Right, okay, this is better. This is better. One more. Okay, he's he's done. The Elite Knight Armour. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Now I think if I equip it, I'm probably going to be rolling really slow. But I think, I think I'll, I think I'll give it a go. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to keep a sack on. I think. Yeah, I'm very slow. Should I? Let's, let's just spend a bit of time in this armour and see if it really is that bad. I'm pretty sure it's going to make me tougher. Oh. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, I remember there's a summon there. So I think up there is where there's a boss, the Moonlight Butterfly, which we will kill. But I need to reverse my humanity to get the help because if you haven't got any ranged sort of attack it's very difficult but if you have the summon then it's not that difficult So yeah, like I'm, I'm literally following my tactic and looking for enemies because I don't really know the route. So yeah, that's the, the path. I mean, if we'd have walked that way, we would have avoided all that, but then we wouldn't have realised that's where the boss is. So let's just keep, keep motoring on. Now 
Now that tree looks a bit out of place. And it's not the tree I thought it was. Because there are some secret trees here that you hit and it leads to the next area, which I think is what I'm what I need to look for because I'm pretty much blocked all the way around. Okay, did we go this way? No, we didn't. Ah, there's one of them trees. I think I've just there we go. Okay, so yeah, you can see that they s slightly stand out. And that's another one with a thing on it, not what I was looking for. Hmm. So maybe I do need to go up that, that way. Because it looks like we've cleared this area. This is the way I came. Or is it? Okay, so there's an enemy there. Which kind of tells me we haven't been up here yet. So we've done a huge circle. Let's go back. Or I could level up actually before I lose my souls. Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to reverse a hollow in. We're going to summon that person. We're going to fight the, the, the boss. Yeah. See, it all turns out good in the end. So first of all, I'm going to become human. But bear in mind, when I rest, I'm going to summon all them, respawn all them enemies again. Still, it's worth it because we need to level up. Now we level up, okay. So, ultimately we want our vitality to be 30, because that's one of those soft caps that I hear people talk about where after 30 it doesn't go up much more, if I'm right. And endurance up to 40. But I feel like I want to put my endurance up a bit because I'm running out of steam quite often. So, yeah, 18, I'm going to put one more in here. Okay, that helps a bit. So now, let's go back and go up that, that area. I did not mean to do that, <laughs> I meant to Estus, but okay. everything helps. So it does mean I've got to fight them big dudes again. Not ideal. Ah, there's one of them trees, look. Alright, it doesn't stand out that much, but there it is. We can cut through here. So 
So I wonder if that'll give us a little bit of a shortcut. I don't know. I don't know where this leads, to be fair. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, that leads to uh, a kind of mini boss called the Hydra, which is a pain in the arse. So I'm going to wait a little bit later to do, to do that. And it's not particularly hard. It's just the Hydra's animations are so awkward and weird, and there's a thing you can. F oh, I'm just moaning. Anyway, right, let's talk these guys out again. going to do the same tactic, just try and draw them out one at a time. Or we could just go round maybe. Follow the path, go right and then go up. Yeah, that sounds much safer. I mean I am pretty slow with this armour on but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm definitely more tanky. Okay, this one's going to rise, so we can take him out, hopefully, bring him down here. He's doing his magic, luckily out of range. Oh, it was, it did get me. No! No! Couldn't, another little tip, when you've got that ring round you, you can't equip your shield. Just so you know. Right, let's do this properly this time. I'm going to reverse my hollow in again. Because I, I can't kill the moonlight butterfly without help. So I'm going to do the same thing, go around in that loop, and just deal with that one, and not be so scared of him, because we've killed lots of him now. So I want the other ones really. I wonder if I can avoid that one. Okay, that's good. There's my souls. Where is that guy? There he is. have to be close to him. Much better. Much better. I've got my souls. Right. I had a few thousand. Right, there's a, another one here that's guarding the entrance, so try and take him out without aggroing anything else. And there is the summon. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to just scout out the top here, just to make sure I am remembering correctly. There should be a fog wall up here. <clears throat> I 
and there is good and we've cleared the enemy so let's go and do that So, I mean, you could easily miss that. Uh, this is Witch Beatrice. I don't know much about her. But she is someone that's willing to help us, so we'll take that help. And she's got a witch's hat on, and she's, she casts magic. Now, if you are a sorcerer, or a pyromancer, I think you could, the Moonlight Butterfly would be okay. But because I've only got melee, we need her range. So up we go, and you can see the Moonlight Butterfly from here. That's what we need to kill. Why we need to kill it, we don't know. That's just what we do. Let's traverse the White Light. So first things, put your shield up. And come across here. And we really need Witch Beatrice to start attacking. Right, do something please. Okay, she's going to start shooting now. Huh? So we're going to kind of let her do her thing. And we're going to try and avoid as much damage as we can. So them darts are quite painful. But you can dodge them. Right, now it, when it comes to land, this is where we start doing stuff. And try and avoid that. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know she did that. And there, we've killed a boss. With thanks to Witch Beatrice. Thank you very much for that. But yeah, so... Basically, when the butterfly lands, it basically gives you an opportunity to hit it as much as you can. And I should have two-handed it, I might have done it quicker, but then she does a big uh, AoE, which does quite a lot of damage, but we managed to uh, to do that, which is good. And we got the Moonlight Butterfly Souls, because we're going to need 20,000 souls to buy the item to get through that gate. But can't remember who sells it but I'll, I'll look that up um, let's go and see what treasures we might find no oh, I don't remember this bit don't tell me it's a dead end oh who's the I've never been up here. Who's this? It's a dead blacksmith. Looks very similar to the other one. The Watchtower Basement Key. Hmm. We'll see where that goes. And a Divine Ember. I don't know what that does either. And a Homeward Bone. So that's a good little find so the divine ember I'm assuming allows us to create a divine weapon which means we can go into the catacombs and kill all the undeads the uh, you know the skeletons I don't think we've been there yet but I'm assuming that's what a divine ember does I, don't, I might be wrong there but anyway so that was worth going up there um, I'm not going to fight the Hydra so we'll, we'll come back for that so I think we've pretty much done all, all that I want to do in this area so I'm going to bone on back home back to the bonfire and then end the episode on a much more positive note than the last one because the last one was a challenge, but that was much, much better. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna, I might as well take us back. Because where am I gonna go from here? I probably will go to the depths after here, so I'm gonna level up. Or should I wait? I'll wait because I need to buy that item to open this gate. And I'm not going to, as soon as I buy it, I'm not going to go here. I'm going to level up more and then come back. But it would be handy to buy it now so I don't have to think about it later. So let's go back. Let's go back up to the blacksmith where it's a bit safer. There's an item here that I missed before. Large soul. And there's one up there. I think we'll get that later. I, don't, I can't remember the way to get to it, but I think it's going a different route. But for now, we're for now. I'm quite happy to start taking on the depths. Turns out you can't block the hug. But who would want to block a hug? No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. And yeah, he kind of just jumped off there. Must be because I rejected his hugs. Why can't going the right way? So this is where that um, Titanite demon thing is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna re reduce my armor for a bit just to get past him. At some point we'll fight him, just not yet. Okay, so I think. Because in the last episode we got the divine ember, uh, the I can't remember what it was called. It was another ember that can upgrade our weapon further. Ah, why that's a fine ember you have there. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Sure thing, bro. Magnificent. Won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Okay. So reinforced weapon. Can't do the claim more, so maybe it's something else. Modify equipment. Ah, so we have something here. So we can start upgrading further with our claymore. We need large titanite shards. Uh, yeah, so that's that. Not sure what the, the divine ember there. did. Let's see, have another little shot. Ah, so now he's spotted that. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? Of course. I can produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool to me. Well, thanks for that. You've made a fine decision. You soon shall see. Ah. So I can make the claymore divine. With green titanite. But I don't think I'll do it with the claymore. I want the claymore to be plus 10. I'll choose another weapon 
to make divine, I'm not sure what yet. He's, uh, he doesn't sell large ones, so we have to find those. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there. Okay, so let's get dressed. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find out um, where to buy that that item to open that door, just so we've got it. Because I can't, I literally cannot remember where to get it, and I could just hunt around and spend episode after episode looking for it. I think it's for this sort of thing. It's better just to find out where it is, and then I can buy that, put it in my bag for later. Then we can start looking into upgrading our clay more and also going through the depths and clearing all that area and trying to aim to ring the second bell. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that episode. Uh, it felt like it was a little bit smoother than the last one even though I didn't know where I was going but I didn't get cursed which is always a bonus. Um, as usual, if you like it and want to see more, press subscribe, um, uh, press like, and please leave a comment uh, just so that I know if I'm going in the right direction with this, and also if there's anything you'd like to see. And yeah, that's it. I'm not too good at this self plug-in stuff, but yeah, press subscribe and I'll do all that jazz. And I'll uh, see you in the next episode where we will go into the depths and we're going to do it properly this time. See you later.